Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked how they rotated this off center to, to give it this look. Well, you could very well rotate that off center, but I'm pretty sure the easiest way to do it, I'm going to take the three point line and I, I've drawn a circle and an ellipse. I'm going to start from the center. I'm just going to go outward. Then I'm going to give a little bit of a curve. I'm not going to try to match theirs perfectly. I'm going to actually take that line and extend it past my uh, ellipse. I'm going to click on it again and move the rotation. So I double click. And if you double click, you get the rotation. And I look like I'm on the center. I'm going to have to zoom in. You can always hit Z on your keyboard to do that. This way you can see when you're double click. See, I'm not. I'm not quite on the center. So I'm going to move it down to the center. And a lot of times it will be there. Now, instead of Control D and then duplicate it, I'm going to open up the Docker transform more, Transformation or Transform. I'm going to rotate it uh, 15 degrees, which we need 24, but we've already got one. So I want to make it 23 and voila. And the reason I did the lines is because I wanted it to make sure it was not going to leak. Now this thing is, let's make it like a little bit smaller so to fit on the screen. 17, I'm going to change my nudge factor to, to 20. And I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, set on blue, and I am going to nudge every other one to my new uh, other side of the page. And the reason I'm doing this is one, it'll get rid of the lines. And two, it, it'll um, do a good job. All right, we're done. So there's two ways they could have done this. Well, they could have rotated off center. Granted, I mean, they could have rotated from up here, but then your lines have to be extra long down here. So I'm thinking they just did it like this. So I'm going to control D to make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. So... There's two ways they could do that, at least two ways. Left click, right click, draw another ellipse and just go off, go off circle with it. You know, like something like that. Let's move this down for a second and then do the same thing with the smart fill tool and nudge it over. It's going to give it the appearance. Well, it is going to make it look like it's off center rotated it does give it a pretty good look so they could have done that or they could have grouped this together and brought in a circle and offset it you know we're not getting much of an offset let's make the circle a little bit lower and offset it a little bit more then grab the whole thing and intersect it Look at that, that quick. And the reason, and the good thing about it, you don't have to smart fill it, which I love the smart fill, but you could, you know, you've still got your drawing here to do anything with when you intersect. Uh, I mean, let's make it even more offset. See what it looks like. Intersect. Really cool look. I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. And then just put on a green background. If that, I'm pretty sure they just wanted the shape and not the color. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you.